properties are expensive. In fact, only 65.8% of Americans own a home. This means that a large majority don't have a home due to several reasons, and one of them is lack of funds. This is probably the most common reason, especially when looking at the major events that happened these past few years, such as the pandemic. However, if you are looking to minimize your expenses and make home acquisition much easier for you, you can choose to apply for grants or programs that can help you pay for your home, particularly if you're a first-time home buyer. In this video, you will learn three programs or grants that you can apply to if you want to buy your first home. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like this type of content. We always appreciate any kind of support. If you're going to apply for grants or programs, make sure to look at the details on their respective websites to ensure that your expectations align with what you get. Welcome to EM3, Financial Freedom Strategies, where you'll learn how to manage your time and money to achieve financial freedom. If you want to know all the juicy details, then make sure to watch until the end. Number 1. Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America or NACA Home Loan NACA is a non-profit organization with certification from the Department of Housing and Urban Development or HUD. Their main objective is to provide affordable home ownership to low- and moderate-income communities and borrowers who are frequently the victims of predatory lending or excluded from home financing altogether. Borrowers must fulfill strict eligibility criteria, go through a thorough application procedure, and join NACA in order to be eligible for a mortgage under the NACA program. NACA does not provide money for mortgages. Instead, it helps its members get ready for home ownership through rigorous counseling and application procedures, and later collaborate with institutions that supply the cash. NACA offers many benefits. The program permits qualified applicants to purchase a property with no down payment, exempts them from paying customary mortgage closing charges and private mortgage insurance, and determines a candidate's potential to qualify for a mortgage using more lenient and conventional parameters. The mortgage rates are also fixed. As of November 7, 2022, the mortgage rates are 6.125% for 30 years and 5.625% for 15 years. Compared to other financing options, the NACA program application procedure may necessitate more details and effort. Buyers must attend home buyer training and financial counseling sessions. Additionally, the NACA program requests more information and evidence from borrowers than is generally necessary for conventional mortgage programs. When a buyer applies for the NACA program to buy a property, they sign up to become members of the group and adhere to its rules, which include paying yearly dues and taking part in organizational activities. Members of the NACA program are also obliged to give their time to attend at least five housing advocacy events each year. Even if you are exempt from paying typical closing expenses, you still need to come up with a sizable sum of money to complete your mortgage. When your loan closes, you must pay for a full year's worth of homeowner's insurance and property taxes. Number 2. USDA or the United States Department of Agriculture Direct Loan Rural residences with low incomes might want to use USDA direct loans to purchase a home. For low and very low-income borrowers, the current interest rate for single-family housing direct loans is 3.25% as of November 1, 2022. You can construct, renovate, enhance, or relocate a home as your principal residence in suitable rural regions if you meet the requirements. In order to qualify, a property must be situated in a rural region with less than 35,000 residents. Borrowers don't have to worry about paying a down payment and they may still be qualified for loans even if they have bad credit. Other than having no down payment and a high credit score, the seller of the home will also be the one responsible for closing costs. The interest is also set at a low fixed rate. However, 
Note that the loan is limited to certain locations and that it applies only to single-family homes. With the USDA direct, the USDA would work as a creditor and supply the money needed to buy the land. That implies that you will only deal with the USDA directly rather than with a commercial lender. Ultimately, the purpose of the USDA direct loan program is to help low-income families in becoming homeowners. This shouldn't be confused with the USDA guaranteed loan. Compared to the USDA direct, the USDA guaranteed loan is funded by a private lender instead of the USDA itself. This means that the USDA guaranteed loan is secured by the government and through them, you will be able to apply for lower interest rates from private lenders. Number 3. Bank of America Loans and Grants a new mortgage program from the Bank of America will enable first-time home buyers to buy a home without a down payment and closing charges. They provide a $7,500 lender credit that may be used to pay for one-time closing expenses like title insurance and recording fees or to permanently lower the interest rate. In some regions, they also provide a grant of up to 3% of the property purchase price or $10,000 to be utilized as a down payment. The location of the property you'd want to buy as well as your income will determine your eligibility. Even though there is no minimum credit score requirement, the program will still utilize credit standards and guidelines based on your previous payments like rent, electricity, water, and insurance payments to determine your trustworthiness. Other than that, before you submit a loan application, you must fulfill a home buyer certification course offered by the Bank of America. Offering a loan with no down payment, mortgage insurance, or closing expenses might make home ownership more accessible. Additionally, when you spend less on the down payment and closing fees, you may set aside more of your finances to cover major house repairs that must be made or unanticipated emergencies that may occur after you move in. Just bear in mind that if you don't make a down payment, your mortgage will cover the whole cost of the home. Moreover, your monthly payments may become greater than they would be if you didn't have any initial deposit. If you want to ensure that you can pay for your mortgage on time and within budget, you must consider consulting with certified home ownership experts. In addition to the mentioned grants or programs, you can also look for state programs by contacting the Department of Housing and Urban Development according to your state. Some states have programs that aid first-time home buyers by helping them pay for the down payment. If you want to know which state has which program, you can check by clicking the link in the description. Buying a house requires a lot of funds. If you're really set on making a purchase, Make sure to check any available programs present that can help you attain your goal much easier. Hopefully, this video helped you toward your first home purchase. If you want to know more details about the mentioned programs, you can check the links in the description. As always, you're welcome to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked our content, then please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.